If you were dumped and want your ex back, the number one question you have is whether you'll ever hear from them again. And I know it may seem impossible, like you'll never hear from them, but I have good news for you. Not only is it possible, it's probable. How? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. And welcome back, my beautiful no contact army. If you have downloaded my app Silencio to help you stay in no contact, I really, really appreciate if you would give it either a review or a rating in the App Store or in Google Play. And if you too would like to join our beautiful no contact army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before you purchase the book. Okay, so you want your ex to reach out first. You want to hear from them. And in order to do that, you need to create the right environment in order to motivate them to want to reach out to you, even though they broke up with you. And you may feel powerless in this moment, but you know what? You have more power than you think. You just have to make sure that you don't give your power away. You need to put yourself in a position where they want to reach out and pursue you. You will never get them back by trying to talk them into coming back. So save your breath. So this may seem obvious, but in order for them to reach out first, you have to not be reaching out to them. If you're reaching out to them, why would they reach out to you, right? Which means you have to get into no contact and stay there no matter how hard it is. And I know it's super difficult if you have an anxious attachment style. And obviously if you're secure or you're an avoidant, you have no problem staying in no contact. In fact, avoidance love no contact. So the first thing you have to make sure you do is that you are not reaching out to them for any reason whatsoever. But you know what? You actually don't have to make your ex reach out first, which I know goes against the title of the video because 90% of people will hear from their exes. The question my clients always ask is, will I hear from my ex? And it's a double-edged sword because yes, you will hear from your ex, but it doesn't mean they want to get back together. Most of the time, exes do not just go away, even if they don't want you back. I wish they did. They always linger around because unfortunately, that gives you false hope since they're still around and they're like a ghost haunting you. Exes always seem to pop up in some shape or form. Even if they never ever contact you, they're doing something to get your attention. That's because their ego does not want to think that you're actually never going to speak to them again, even though they broke up with you. Or their curiosity as to why you've been silent, even though they broke up with you again, will have them looking for crazy excuses to contact you or just doing crazy things. So let me put your mind at ease that you will hear from your ex. And I said in my video on the 60 day no contact rule that most people will hear from their ex within 45 to 60 days of no contact. And I'll put the link to that video in the upper right hand corner. Sometimes it takes longer. Sometimes it takes months and months. But at some point, somehow, somewhere, they will pop up. Just expect it and don't be surprised. And remember, do not pick up the phone when they call. If you still have their name in your phone, which you shouldn't. So when you see that they're calling, you're going to get excited. And your first instinct, your muscle memory is going to make you want to pick up that call. Do not do that. Do not do like my recent client did. He was getting on a plane. It was noisy. He couldn't hear anything. He didn't have his Bluetooth in and he saw the number, saw her name. He got excited. And even though I had told him, don't answer, <laughs> he answered and he couldn't hear anything. She couldn't hear anything. He didn't really know what to do. So do not put yourself in that situation. Because then you're going to be wondering, oh my God, I just broke into contact. Should I call them back? What did they say? Did they hear what I have to say? 
you know, if you're going to answer for whatever reason, make sure that you can hear that you're in an area where you can hear well, and they'll be able to hear you. Otherwise, you're going to be kicking yourself and wondering what the heck to do. And then realize, you know what, I never should have answered. Okay, but just know that you will most likely hear from your ex, you're going to get excited, you're going to think, Oh, my God, they want me back. We don't know that feelings are not facts. So just calm down. All right. And if you are enjoying this so far, please give this video a like so that we can you have um, helped the YouTube algorithm to recommend it to more people. Thank you. Okay. So the third way to get your ex to reach out first is to be mysterious. Now, this will be easier to do if they're still watching your stories or posts. Post something that will get them wondering. Let's say you're going on a trip. So you can show yourself at the airport or you can show the hotel and then don't show anything else for the rest of the trip. Now, obviously this won't be possible for everyone, especially if you have an audience that's used to seeing all aspects of your life, but that probably doesn't apply to most people listening. So if you do this, it's a great way to create mystery because they're going to wonder, well, why aren't you showing the whole trip? Or if you're going out for the evening, why are you just showing one photo or one video at the beginning of the evening and then not showing anything else when you usually sh show everything if you're going out for the evening and for the ladies a way to be mysterious there's the flower trick where you show a bouquet of flowers if it's not your birthday or valentine's and they're going to wonder what the flowers are for and who they're from meanwhile they could just be flowers you bought yourself and this may prompt them to reach out to find out what's going on. And if you've been a good little soldier, you'll stay in no contact if they don't say something significant. But hey, at least they reach out, right? Number four is to show that you're fully immersing yourself in a new project where it's obvious you're very busy with that project and you're not thinking about your ex. Someone I know after a breakup, they ended up buying this old mansion which really didn't cost that much because it was old and run down. And they did a renovation. And on her stories, she showed herself painting the rooms, decorating, by buying, buying furniture. You could tell she was totally immersed in that project. And now she rents it out for video shoots and uh, throws lavish parties. And you could tell she was totally into it, had no time to think about the ex. So this might make your ex curious and want to reach out to find out about your new passion. Next, we have, although I don't agree with this, a thirst trap, posting a thirst trap. So if you think it's going to work, then put yourself in a bikini. If you're a girl, not a guy. If you're a guy, a topless photo. And if you think that's going to get your ex to reach out, okay, fine. Again, it doesn't mean you're going to get back together, but it may uh, accomplish your goal of at least hearing from them, especially if you're really anxious. Number six, we have my meditation to get your power back from your ex. And I did a whole video on that. I'll put the link in the upper right hand corner. And exes can often feel where, when you're no longer focused on them. So by pulling your power back, there's the possibility that they'll feel the void and want to reach out. And finally, another meditation, the meditation to get your ex to text you. And there are a lot of um, people who use this meditation. And if you read the comments underneath the video, I will post that up in the uh, upper right hand corner on YouTube. You'll see a lot of people did hear from their ex after they did the meditation. So you can certainly try that and you might be pleasantly surprised to hear from your ex. Now, Keep in mind that they may not reach out to you, but they may reach out to someone who you mutually know that you were close to with an excuse. So one of my clients heard from the family member of his ex because something was going on in the family that she thought he might want to know about. Luckily, I already told him to make sure that if he heard from his ex or anybody who knows her, that he was not to talk about the ex and he was to come across as happy and moving on. So even if you never hear from your ex again, the fact that you didn't reach out and that they heard that you were happy and moving on is going to hurt their ego. And 
you'll get your revenge for those of you who want to know if their ex is hurting just as much as they are. They may not be hurting now, but if you leave them alone and they see that you're actually happy, eventually they will be hurt. Okay, so now I want to hear from you. How long have you been in no contact and which one of these will you try? And in the meantime, if you would like my help to get your ex back, you can contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. They are not on the website. The direct link is below every single video and podcast. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember, love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.